Last weekend you got the first win against uh, the Glasgow Warriors, follow that up with a first test win uh, in a few against Georgia. How does it feel? Oh, I'm great for the guys, you know, they played a lot of rugby out there tonight and there was some uh, you know, massive performances. You know, when you get a tight end from like you know, the gentleman going for 80 minutes, and, you know, still there at the end, it was outstanding. You know, I thought the defence was really good. Um, we created a few opportunities where we, where we, you know, should have probably nailed another couple of tries. So there's obviously a lot still to work on and improve on. But yeah, really wrapped up the guys come through. The third game in eight nights goes uh, on Sunday against Fiji. You must be uh, excited leading into that one. And what needs to be done to face that side? Oh, you will worry. You know, we'll, we'll recover from tonight first and reassess that. But yeah, Fiji's our last hit out before the World Cup yeah. now. You know, there'll be a few other players that get opportunity in that game, obviously. And, and uh, we just need to keep going on the performances that we've done over the last, uh, last couple of years. Congratulations on the win. How does it feel to uh, get the W? Incredible. You know, we had a tough summer, I think, uh, in terms of, you know, getting the Ws. And uh, it was hugely important today to get the win in the end. And, uh, you know, that's two from two now in our, in our official campaign. So we're looking forward to building on that. How big was this win? You've got Fiji coming up this weekend, then a two and a bit week break until the World Cup. How big was a win here tonight? Huge. I know after, uh, after our last game against Glasgow, you know, you could see how positive positive everyone was and uh, this will just make us uh, even more confident in what we can do and what we can achieve at the World Cup. You've got your family here, your brother on the field with you and you played here at Esher with your brother. Must have been an exciting night for you and your family. Yeah, it was incredible, you know, the support that uh, myself and my brother have had from our family over the years and this club in, in particular, you know, they've been great to So, me. you know, it's really, really, the boys obviously pumped up to see the reactions after the game. So you just arrived in England two weeks out from rugby's biggest event. What's the mood like in the company? Mate? Yeah, it's pretty exciting. I mean, we've got together a good team. We've been working really hard. We've got a lot of confidence in our structures. And so, yeah, the boys are pretty excited. You know, we're, we're feeling pretty good and looking forward to the first challenge, Ireland. Yes, as you say, first up Ireland at the Millennium Stadium. There really is no bigger setting than that ASF for the match. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be crazy. You know, hopefully, uh, hopefully put in a good performance. Just. Look, at, look after our processes and what we got to do and then hopefully the result takes care of itself. So down there in Isha tonight we've seen a lot of red shirts. What sort of following can we expect from the Canadians this year? Yeah, it's, I think you can expect a pretty decent and pretty vocal. Canadians are great sports fans. A lot of people in our pre, uh, preview games that we were having across Canada have been coming up to the boys afterwards saying, you know, see you at Cardiff, see you, you know, in uh, Leeds and wherever the rest of the games are. So I think, I think it's going to be good. So Gareth Reese obviously here today. He's from the uh, 1991 generation where they emerged to the quarterfinals. Yep. What are the expectations of Canada at this year's Rugby World Cup? We haven't really discussed, uh, you know, wins, loss, like goals. We're just working on our own processes. That's what we want to look after is look after ourselves. If the results come our way, then that's that's what we're looking for. But obviously, if we take care of ourselves, hopefully those things take care of each other. So you finally just want to give a shout out to anyone thinking about coming to watch Canada at the World Cup this year? Oh yeah, my uh, my mum, her partner Ian, so Colleen and Ian, and my girlfriend and sister Melinda and Alison, they're coming over, so really look forward to seeing them. It's been a long preview tour, so it'll be good to catch up with their family. And last question, can you just sum up Canadian rugby, what it means for you in a few words? Ah, oh, jeez, that's a tough one. Um, like for me, it's everything, you know, it's what I've grown up watching, what I grew up watching the guys like Cudmore and Al Sharon, Mike James, you know, in my position, so it's, it's pretty much just the pinnacle of what I want to achieve now I'm here, I've got to, we just got to keep, you know, going on with it.